Okay, CF Moto Kentucky. We're going to do the oil change on the My Seaforce 600 2021. We're going to do the first oil change at 112 miles, I believe. So, we got it all jacked. Of course, I got the black bore box. You can go to YouTube. You can find that video on the Quick Connect system I use to test this. And it, like I said, it, it works good. It's on there. So, oh my bad. All right. Now we got Jaden down here. Yeah. Getting ready to let her fly here. We got mud on her, but we cleaned it off. We got the plastic plate that comes with it from the factory on there all the way through. We're still in perfect shape. It's, yeah, it's brand new. So, get ready. I got the old kit. There it is. Coming down. So, this is a break in period and the first oil change on my CF Moto 600. I haven't had no issues. It's got a lot of power. Just now getting used to it. Jaden over there had a little episode. He's got used to it too. He got it on two wheels. <laughs> There's a lot more power than what we think. So we're gonna let her drain. I let it start it up for about five minutes. Let it circulate real good and it's gonna sit there and drain. So now Jaden, we're gonna go over here. And we're going to take the oil filter off. Like I said, I ordered my... There was my kit, Main Street Cycle. Like I said, it took them... They shipped it right to me. Didn't have no issues. I got the... Maxima... 10W40. Got three of them. Of course, it takes... Almost three quarts. So... We're still draining on below there. As you can see, yeah, it's draining, dripping. So we're going to let it drain for a little bit. Now these bolts, now I posted, if, you, if you're if uh, you in my group, CF Moto Kentucky group, on my group page, Facebook, I posted uh, Joel and Blake at the Main Street Cycle how to change oil on the 600 and so of course they're professionals so that's what we watched and this is what we're going to do how we, they did it and we ain't going to have no troubles with it so if you got a torque wrench I think you seven and a half is what you torque it down to you don't have to do these tight at all but uh, yeah, it's going to leave a little mess there. It's all right. It looks clean. We'll get some rags. And we see it's all dripping down here now. On this, on the plates and Seaforce 600, they, it goes right through. You don't have to take the plates off or nothing. So it's got drain plugs, drain holes. So that, that just pops on out. Let's see what that looks like. Let me just throw it in the pan. All right. Here's a new one. Now all you do, you just stick it back in there just like that and all the way push it back in and we'll put the 
bolts in it. Now you can take it a little bit and put it around the O ring. On your hand, little oil, yeah, there you go. You're just going to pop that back in there. And that's all you do on the old filter. Now, he's going to put the plate back on, line them up, and he's going to barely tighten these up. Seven and a half on the, if you got a torque wrench. Or seven... Yeah, well, seven and a half. Seven, seven, seven. So, but we're just going to use. And, uh, of course, when you take that uh, plastic piece off, you got to watch. You'll break the grommets out. I already broke one doing that. So, they're hard, you know. But it's got two to hold. It ain't no big deal, like I said. If I got two CF Moto, it'll send me the whole thing. So, this is under warranty, and now I got extended warranty and everything else. And, but, it's in, if you're not careful, you will break out a drum. That's it. Barely tighten them up. We're gonna wipe that up. We'll get some rags. Now we'll check down here. Now that's still dripping a little bit. All right. Let's go. Oh. Let's see. I got a bit have a funnel. You got a funnel over? Yeah, we got to okay the funnel. But right, let's see what we got here. Okay, checking that. What you got there? Alright, there's a. He's gonna put the oil plug back in. We drained up. Does the o ring look good? Brand new steel? Oh, yeah. So you can see. The o ring looks good. Everything's good. He's gonna put it up there and he's gonna tighten that down. Try to see if I can get underneath. All right. You do that. Let's see there, yeah. Like I said, I posted the uh, Main Street Cycle video on YouTube on my Facebook group page, CF Moto Kentucky. Come join. Look us up. Here we go. Got that tight. Okay, he's got that tight, ready to go. Now we're going to shout out to HyperTuff, of course. HyperTuff Drain Pan, HyperTuff. Jack stand. Hyper tough cart. It all works good. All right. You take your dipstick out. Now we know it holds. Is that going to do it? Is yeah. that too big? Okay. There you go. You can go ahead. You can pull. You're going to have to. Can you do both? Yeah, I can do those. Okay. Now, you pour all or two of these in, and then you it's like when we get down to almost three. It ain't quite three, but we'll show you. Okay. 
Okay, there's the first one. Shout out Maxima, Main Street Cycle. Like I said, all you gotta do, call them. They'll hook you up. They'll send that straight to you. Here'd be number two. And my last, oh, I got a video here. Go to YouTube on my other video, and you'll see when you buy one brand new, you check the rear grease. Of course, you can go to my video and right there on the wheel hub. There's two grease fittings, one on top, one on bottom. Mine was not greased, as you can just watch that video. You'll see most of them ain't. All right, now this would be number three. He's going to pour almost all of it in there. And he's going to back off at the end, and then we're going to start it. And then we'll let it run and check it for a second. Then we'll check the level. Now, when we check it with the dipstick, we're not going to screw it all the way down. We're just going to stick the dipstick in without screwing it. Check it like that. Okay, what you got there? All right, we'll check it that, that way. He's got probably about that much. Around that much, so. All right, we're gonna check, check it with a dipstick. Sorry about that. Let's see. We're going to check it. What are we looking like? Good. Right on full. So we're going to start her up. Everything tight. Make sure we ain't got no leaks. Let me get over here. All right, Jaden, ready to look for leaks. Shout out to CF Moto. All right. Okay, we got oil pressure. drain back down Uh-oh. 
don't know if y'all can see that. It's kind of but you can see it's dripping off of there and it's right on the full mark so we are good <clears throat> okay well Well, another job done. CF Moto. CF Moto Kentucky. Jaden. CF Moto 600. Until next time.